All right, everyone, we're back and we're going to start to build the components that we need for our uh, basically a light sensing robot. So it's going to move basically based on the uh, incandescence and the signal basically from a light source. So it could move towards or away from regions that are uh, basically darker or lighter and we'll get moving now. So what we're going to need, um, we're going to need some basically resistors, we're going to need some black wires, we're going to need some, actually a new component here, so we're going to actually work with uh, capacitors. So capacitor here, um, and we're going to work with phototransistors. So this will be essentially the sensing component. So again, we're starting to build, the whole idea behind this is now we're, again, getting some in, uh, input and some, basically, we're reading we're reading some signal from our external environment. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to utilize this time. Whoops. Let me move a little bit here. Give us a little bit of better view. Excellent. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our our resistors. And we're going to go ahead and plug in to uh, basically signal 8 and signal 6. Signal, digital signal 8 digital signal six. Um, as you can see, I've removed our little whiskers. So eight, we're gonna plug in there. We're gonna plug in six here. Eight and six. Um, and we are also going to connect, uh, again, for sensing and to move, we want our sensors at the top of the board. So what we're gonna wanna do is and you see in our trans our photo transistor we have a long end and a short end. Our short end is going to be uh, basically on, and we're going to kind of stagger this. My short end is going to be at the front here. I'm going to stagger this on the next row. So like so, I'm going to just plug it in. Oops. So I'm going to stagger it like this, and we're going to say that I'm going to show the short end and the long end. So. On this end, the close end here, that's my short. On the back, that's my long. So when we're diagonal, that side is going to be the long. This side is going to be the short. And then I'll do the same thing over here, where again, the short, and then we're going to connect the short to the ground as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and actually, I'm going to make it like this. I'm going to give us some, I'm going to give us some room, but I'm going to, you're not going to give us too much room. Oops, let me just plug in here. There we go. So, and I'm gonna kind of just lean these guys around because I want to give them a little bit of space. So I'm just gonna kind of put them like so. Um, just like my little antennas here. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our capacitors. And again, it's to make sure that we're not uh, we're not going to basically blow our, our system. Um, and so we're going to put our capacitors, again, staggered similarly. And we'll stagger them like so. Stagger those capacitors like so. Again, in the same rows as our phototransistors. We should push them push it down here. And then now we're gonna connect uh actually let's go ahead and connect our ground wires. Excuse me. Let's give you some here we go. So I'm gonna connect the ground. Uh basically, I'm gonna connect my ground to my short leg. So I'm gonna go from here, ground to my short. So ground to my short leg, which would be right here. Actually, I'm just gonna put it in right. So, so ground to short, and then same thing here. Actually, I'm gonna move this one over. So ground to short. I'm gonna also go from here to here. I'm gonna go ground to my, I believe this is, the, yeah, I'm just double checking ground to short. Ground short. Actually, I'm just making sure because I need some room here. So I'm going to go like this. Ground. 
and short. Good. And then now I'm going to go resistor to my long end. So resistor to the long. So resistor long. And then resistor over here to the long end. Oops. I'm gonna, sorry, I'm just taking this out here for a second. So I'm going to go six, six to long. here, get that in here, and now we're good to go. There we go. I'm just trying to get that in there. Get that in there, get that in there. Great. All our components are seem nice and snug. So, we've got our grounds, we've got everything else. So, now it's time to actually get our code set up and get this guy Running around looking for light or running away from light. And we'll decide that. So we'll see you uh, when we look at the code. Bye. All right, so now that we've got our light sensing robot set up, we want to calibrate the sensors just to get a sense to make sure that they're working. So we're going to shift us on. And we're going to look at, again, we're going to get an output, our serial monitor. A high value here will mean it's dark. And a small value will mean it's light. So I'm going to go ahead and send this and upload it. We'll look at our, once it's done uploading. So let's get our serial. So we have our first serial monitor. So we can cover it and it's now even higher. So I've just made the room dark. Now it's, I just have it ambient light. Cover it again, great. And then now let me shine my cell phone light on this. And let me get my, if I can figure out. So I'm gonna shine my cell phone on it. And then now it's really small. So it's working. So now let's go ahead and set up our other code and then get it to run and basically move towards or away from light. So we'll see you in the next video. Hi everyone, we are back and let's go ahead and go through our code to make our basically light following robot. So a lot of similar code. So setting up our server library, declaring again, left and right, our servos here and here, again, defining essentially where we're going to attach our signals. Again, this is going to allow us to send our signals to our motors. And here we're going to get into some of the logic of the code. So basically, we're going to grab this left and right RC time, um, and we're going to set a pin, and we're going to set it as a float. So our pin 8 and our pin 6. Um, and so that's basically related to our... Uh, our build of our robot, and that's going to also affect essentially how we're basically measuring those light functions. Um, we're gonna normalize our differential shade here with another float, and then we're gonna basically calculate this, the left and right, divide it by the right, and we're gonna minus uh, by 0.5. We're gonna declare basically the speed variable, so speed left, speed right, and then we're gonna define, okay, this is again an if-else statement. So if there's shade on the right, slow down the left uh, wheel, and basically we're going to move towards the light. Otherwise, shade on the left, we're gonna slow down the right wheel, and then again, we're gonna move basically towards that, uh, that light. And we can set, set essentially the speed here. Uh, you can look at here, this is looking at kind of the pin, the capacitor, we're basically setting and basically looking at measuring those voltages and basically a decay time here. Um, and then here, this is going to be our maneuver function. So we've set up, and actually you can see the maneuver function right here. So the maneuver basically is telling us this, the, weed, uh, yeah, the wheel speeds. So this is just a function maneuver. We're going to initialize speed left, speed right, and then we're going to write that to our basically motors. So this is the key kind of logic here. Again, if there's shade on the right, then we're going to slow down the left wheel. If there's shade on the left, and then it's basically we're going to move towards that. So let's put this into play and let's go to it. So you can kind of see, I'm just going to go, here's this part. 
and this part in case you want to basically rewrite this code. So let's put this into action and see our light following robot. All right, everyone, we are back and we are, have our robot here and we are going to follow essentially this light. So when I turn it around, the robot will kind of go in random directions, but then it will follow essentially this light path. So I'm going to turn everything off. I'm going to turn the robot on, our light sensing robot. And you can see, and now it's following. Our light, just like a little cat. So cool! You basically made Robotaxis that follows somehow. Beautiful. So we'll see you all in the next video.